this is um, a representation of the inner workings within the kidney. This represents the cortex. This represents the medulla. So first, let's follow the blood vessels. This tube right here is arcuate artery, which gives rise to the interlobular artery. It's right here and right here. Off the interlobular arteries, you'll have the afferent arterioles, which will go into a nephron. You see right here, there's another one right here, and there's another one right here. So let's focus on this nephron. So. Oh, Oh, sorry, Bowman's capsule, my <laughs> apologies. So Bowman's capsule have the glomerulus inside and the fluid that comes out, the fluid and nutrients that come out of the glomerulus will enter the proximal convoluting tubules, which is represented by this orange color here. You see it just curves around, convolute, 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 then it'll come down and form Henley's loop. And you see the color change here that represents it now being distal. So it's a distal convoluted tubule. Usually comes up near the Bowman's capsule again, curves around, and then it'll enter the collecting duct. So the capillary, let's talk about the capillary beds here. Um, so this is the afferent arterial. Then the blood, after it releases all of its goodies, will make the efferent arterial and then it's, it, this is a true capillary bed. So these capillaries that are over the PC, the, yes, the proximal convoluting tubule are called the per, peritubular what capillaries? capillaries. <laughs> peritubular capillaries. Yes. Okay. And then I don't know if I mentioned this. The collecting duct. And it'll go all the way down. All of them will eventually connect together and then it connects together at the papilla and then it will dump its fluids out into the minor blah blah calyx, calyx. <laughs> yeah minor blah blah minor calyx okay so the loop of henley here as you can see this is the cortex and the loop of henley for this bowman's capsule is in the cortex so you call that a Cortical nephron. nephron, this whole thing. Cortical nephron. This one is a little bit lower, and this one will be different because you can see here the loop of Henley Goes is down. in the medulla. So you, you call this nephron the juxtamedullary nephron. Okay, so this one's kind of unique because this will go from the interlobular artery to the Bowman's capsule, efferent artery goes down here, and then yeah, it'll, it'll form into the interlobular vein, which will make the arcuate vein. Um, so speaking of the capillaries here, this one is around the loop of Henley, so you call this a basal rectum. Beza recta. Beza recta. Yep, yep. Um, hmm. I don't know. I think that's it. I think that's it. Ta da! <laughs>